it's uh, it's great to be here again. It feels like it's been a long time since I have had a chance to visit with you guys, and I don't know what I did. Um, I must have done said the wrong thing or done the wrong thing because somehow I ended up in the Steve Fink doghouse. And we know that's an awfully tough place to be. That's, this guy, he's like the Joseph Stalin of media relations, and he sent me off to the gulag for a couple months. And somehow I finally made my way back. So I'm grateful for that. I, I hope that uh, whatever I did can be forgiven. And, and if you know me, which you've gotten to know me a little bit, I'm not one to hold a grudge. So it is the Christmas season. Um, and I'd like to just clear the air and make sure we can all move forward together as, as we approach this bowl game. So, Steve, I've got a little something for you here. In, in the spirit of Christmas, I'd like to present you with this jar of mayonnaise. And my apologies, okay? My apologies for whatever I did, all right? And uh, I hope we can move forward together. I look forward to dumping this on you after the game. Okay, let, let's find a way to get that done. Let's find a way to get that done. Um, all right, so uh, moving on to the, the task at hand. Um, it, it's, it, it's genuinely exciting to be doing this press conference today because that means that we get a chance to play another game. And um, it was an exciting fall. It, it had its highs and lows for our team and uh, had some of those for our special teams as well. But really uh, proud of these guys and uh, uh, thrilled to be, to be a part of, of getting ready for this game, uh, which we're in the process of doing right now, and then getting an opportunity to play on the 30th. And uh, a big part of that, too, is uh, the respect that I have for UNC and for Coach Mac Brown and, and the relationships that I have with several guys on their staff. Um, so that, that always adds something to it, um, you know, getting a chance to, uh, to go out there and, and compete against people that you have a lot of respect for and a, and a program that you have a lot of respect for. Um, quick story about Mac Brown. My first year as a grad assistant was in 1992. And so my first American Football Coaches Convention was in 1993. It was in Atlanta. And I remember going to hear Coach Brown speak. And at that time, he was at North Carolina for the first time. And he was talking about uh, rebuilding a program the right way and, and a lot of program or organization stuff, uh, interviewing skills, hiring a staff, uh, dealing with uh, student athletes in that day and age. And I just remember sitting there, you know, back then you'd all, we'd all go with jacket and tie and just remember sitting there and, and just saying, wow, like this, this just connects so well with me and what I believed at that time as a young coach. And I remember going up and shaking Coach Brown's hand after that presentation and uh, you just knew that you had a friend for life. That was just the way he was, his sincerity. And then we had a chance to reconnect several years later when I was the head coach at Elon uh, through some mutual friends. And so it's been great to see him and, and, you know, going back to North Carolina. And I know how much he loves that place. Uh, his defensive coordinator, Jay Bateman, was my defensive coordinator for nine years at, uh, at Lehigh, Elon, and Ball State, the first three years at Ball State. Uh, Jay and I worked together in 1997 at tiny little Hamden Sydney College in Virginia. So we've had a long, long relationship and a, and a dear friendship and, you know, very proud of him and, and what he's been able to, uh, to do in his career and, uh, and the job he's done everywhere he's been. And then the, the list goes on with, with several other guys there that I have a tremendous amount of respect for. So um, looking forward to the challenge that lies ahead. I'm pleased with the handful of practices that we've had so far, but certainly a lot more work to be done here as we close in on kickoff on the 30th. I'll save the gulag till later, Pete. But, um, okay. you know, throughout the year, you've been so uh, passionate about how special teams can affect ball games and seasons. How do you think that the unit overall has done for this team this year? Well, if you look at a lot of the, the data, you know, these, these ratings that come out from Pro Football Focus or ESPN or some of the others, uh, Sharp and, and whatnot, um, you know, we have improved pretty dramatically from last year. 
Um, and so that's, that's exciting to see that progress. We don't talk about those things a whole lot because it's always about reaching your potential. But I do think it's important for the kids to see that all the hard work we're putting into this, all the time we're putting into it, the emphasis is, is paying some dividends. That being said, there's still so far to go and uh, so much we can improve. And uh, I'm, I'm probably as guilty uh, as anybody of not smelling the roses. And you look back on a, on a play here or there that um, could have made even more impact or um, maybe you know, helped us a little bit more to, to, to win a game along the way. So um, I would say it, it was a good, solid step in year one. Uh, obviously, it's not over yet, and uh, we've got a big challenge. Um, you know, UNCC presents uh, a, a lot of challenges with their personnel and their scheme and their aggressiveness that we'll face in this game. But, uh, but a good, solid step, and I think we've put a good fa foundation in place. <clears throat> we need to keep developing kind of that core group of special teams guys, and, and hopefully in year two, year three, year four, you'll really see that emerge. You know, you do a lot of special team stuff, but you help recruit a lot of these guys from the Northeast that are coming down here. How important was it for you and, and Coach Beamer to get up into the Northeast and Pennsylvania and Delaware and help pull some of these guys to Columbia? Yeah, it's very satisfying to, uh, to get some results out of the Northeast in year one. When I was getting ready to come here, uh, what you kept hearing from people that had coached in this league was, was how challenging the recruiting was. And uh, I'm the kind of guy, I guess I've been an underdog my whole life, um, you know, came up through the small college ranks and so forth. And, and uh, you put that challenge in front of me, I'm going to try to respond to it and, and contribute as best I can. That doesn't mean you're always going to get the results you want. But uh, when, when Shane decided to, to kind of cut us loose and let us go up there some, just knowing that we have a lot of students from the Northeast and the Mid-Atlantic and that we might need to reach a little bit further to some outlying areas to, to go get the kind of players we need um, as we kick this thing off. Um, I was really excited to go back and, and reconnect with so many of the high school coaches that I know in the Northeast and, and uh, geographic areas that I'm very comfortable with, you know, going to diners in New Jersey and, and things like that. So um, it's, it's very very satisfying to see us get some quality, quality kids. Um, uh, we're allowed to talk about those guys now that they're signed, right? Uh, so, uh, for example, like Ryan Brubaker, um, I can remember from the first conversation I had with him, just this connection with him and his family. Um, he, he loves history. His dad loves history. You know, they, they grew up not far from – the battlefield at, at Gettysburg and, and uh, just a, a bunch of different uh, connections there. Of course, Coach Beamer, like myself, is, is, a, is a history uh, aficionado. So um, uh, way beyond football with that stuff. And, and Keenan Nelson, for a guy who grew up in, in Philly, loves to fish. Um, and, and somewhere along the way, we, we figured out that we both had a, uh, a passion for that. And, uh, you know, sending pictures of my son catching five pound bass to him and, and, and him going fishing. So it's, it's incredible the things you connect with in the process. If you listen, if you ask, if you're looking for that fit. And I'm glad that, that, um, we were able to find it with some of those guys. Um, I think they'll, they'll come down here and, and feel very comfortable because we have such a geographically diverse student body here on our campus and our team is so welcoming to guys from all over. Uh, and hopefully that helps us get up back up there and, and uh, get on some more good players that might have an interest in coming south and playing in the SEC. Yep. Sort of staying on that topic, you obviously spent a good bit of time back up there earlier this month when, you're, when you guys were out on the road. How, how was it getting into some schools that probably have never had a South Carolina coach come through and, and, and recruit their schools? It's, it's exciting uh, when you walk into a school and you hear from their coach that, you know, maybe South Carolina football hasn't been in there before, but they have sent students here. And so there's a familiarity with our campus uh, with, with our strong academics, with some of the programs that we have. Uh, obviously, the, the desire to see their players go play in the SEC and, and play um, 
in arguably the best conference in college football against week in and week out, tremendous competition, and all the guys that go on to the NFL and, and so on and so forth. Um, that's something that, that they want to see their guys get those opportunities if they're good enough. So the reception has been excellent. And for me, everything that I've done for the last 29 years in this profession has been about the relationships. Uh, so to be able to, to go to places and reconnect with people or to have some mutual friends and walk into a school and, and um, you know, somebody knows you from somebody you recruited at Lehigh, um, you know, in, in 2000, um, you know, that, that's very fulfilling and, and uh, makes you excited to, to uh, go stay in the next hotel and get up the next morning and, and go hit those next half dozen schools. All right, guys, you made it easy on me. Appreciate you. There's some mayonnaise up here if anybody needs it. <laughs>